Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Ariel Policano and a warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for being part of our Genius Biofeedback community. I'm so excited to be with you today where we're going to talk about affirmations and the genius. So you may want to get your genius, have your genius handy, and we're going to get started. So you may want to take your genius out and I'm going to grab a resource as well. So go ahead and download, while I'm grabbing that resource, go ahead and download your 30-day affirmation handout, which is in the handout section. Okay, so go ahead and download that handout that is in the handout section, and we're going to get started here. And so the first question is, have you ever done any type of affirmations before? Who has ever done an affirmation? Have you ever done 30 days of affirmations? Let me know. We're going to coordinate or utilize the genius with your affirmations. If you don't want to do this program, of course, you can just learn more about libraries and the neuro remedy as we go through this process. So today, if you didn't know, we're inviting people to start 30 days of affirmations. Share it on your Instagram, share it on your social media, um, share it on Facebook, let people know. And I want to talk to you about why affirmations are so, so important. So we do have a little handout for you that you can utilize to record your affirmations. You could use that as a guide, create your own, whatever you want to do. This is Dr. Ariel Policano with GeniusBioFeedback.com. We're bringing you, as we always do, our weekly training year round. We bring you a free training every single week. Keep the energy alive. Keep the energy flowing with the genius. We have other trainings throughout the year. Some of them are free. Some of them are paid. Some of them are practitioner level. And today we're doing a free program. We're going to start to stoke the fires that can bring us to a new place of awareness and manifestation for 2022. So we're getting ready, we're getting set, and we're gonna go for it. With that in mind, we have a little slide presentation for you to talk about affirmations, and we'll <clears throat> talk all about the process, and then we'll take your questions. So a warm welcome, thank you so much for being part of this. And some people say, yes, they've worked with affirmations before. Have you worked with your affirmations with the genius? Or have you invited other people, your clients, to work with affirmations with the genius? Let me know and we will get rolling from here. So let me know your feedback as we get into this. Okay, why should you do affirmations? Why do daily affirmations? It is an incredibly interesting thing to learn about the nature of the mind. The nature of the mind, without being able to focus, always have a focusing point of positivity, something to hold on to, something that lifts us higher, and something that keeps reminding us of the truth about ourselves that we're able to heal anything, we're able to manifest anything. There are things that creep in uh, when in the absence of these positive words, of these positive thoughts. And so in the tradition of the Hindu, sorry, in the Hindu tradition, they've shown Shiva being sort of like the spirit you know, divine consciousness, always dancing on the demon of forgetfulness. And so we see this in this picture saying that the demon is forgetting who you are. The demon is not remembering to think these powerful thoughts and that you are the positive creator of your own life. So the Shiva triumph is remembering, yes, I can heal anything. Yes, I can create abundance. Yes, I can create a totally new career for myself at any moment. 
and I am remembering, and that's the rejoicing, that's the dance, that's the dance of consciousness, of creation. And so Shiva is triumphing over that demon of forgetfulness. So if you look at your thoughts, if you arrive in a really depressed place, you could look at your thoughts, what have been your thoughts for the past day, seven days, a month. It's easy to lose our connection with those positive thoughts. And when the negative ones creep in, they tend to have a momentum of their own. So we need to go back and work against them. I've noticed that sometimes in my own life, thinking, oh, I'm, I'm very positive. But even then, these negative thoughts, they're sort of like, if you don't clean your house on a regular basis and you look around, you think, oh my goodness, how did all that clutter or the dust bunnies, how did they get there? We must go back and sort of reinvigorate this positivity on a regular basis. And in some ways, the genius is a great tool for this. If you use the genius every day, it is like you're saying affirmations every day because you're entraining very, very positive frequencies. So let's talk a little bit more about the power of words, the power of affirmation, and really start to understand why this is an amazing practice. We always want to have some affirmations in, you know, that we're working on. Think of it at like for your entire life to have affirmational words, affirmational thoughts, and affirmational phrases that you are working on constantly because each thought that you have is building a momentum towards the next. And if the momentum is, I'm going to get sick, I'm not going to make it through this, oh my gosh, then that builds its own momentum. And the default mechanism of our brain, for some reason, tends to be letting in those negativities. So just like if we do not work out and build strength, the muscles atrophy, it is the same way with our thoughts. If we don't actually build in the positive frequencies, the positive time for affirmations, then the negative thoughts will creep in by default. When we're speaking, thinking, hearing all these affirmational words or any words, they all have frequencies. And so there's a lot of synergy between the affirmations that we say and read and listen to and the power of the genius itself. They work in a similar way through resonance and through entrainment. So letters have frequencies, words have frequencies when they're spoken, uh, phrases do, all the phrases together have frequencies. And when we say them, we think them, we read them, we hear them, we're experiencing the resonance of those particular phrases and words and letters. And so we're constantly taking these types of frequencies into our field. And as we take energy frequency into our field, it then lays it down in the morphogenic field and eventually in the body. So the most amazing thing when you really distill that down is saying every single day, every cell in my body is happy and every cell in my body is well and my cells are completely, perfectly created. Everything in my body is healed in this moment. By speaking it, you're literally entraining all the frequencies. And that is really the cosmic giggle. It is really the secret of the world. That is, when you think about it, it's hilarious because your greatest healer is your mind and the words that you're speaking. So out of the most confounding illness, the one that we think we can't get over, the most confounding situation, it's simply the constant repetition of the words. So if you're in a pickle, if you're in a tough circumstance, think of that affirmation and agree to repeat it 10 times a day, 100 times a day. What about 1,000 times a day? What about 10,000? What about 100,000 times a day? What will happen to your thought process? What will you magnetize, attract? Within your, as you're drawing it into your energetic field, right? It's becoming part of your morphogenic field, your, your bio field, and it's laying it down into your physical body. 
So every cell in my body is happy and well. Every cell in my body is happy and well. Every cell in my body is happy and well. Over and over, you're building it up, all the momentum in your biofield, and all of a sudden it goes into the physical body. I also want to remind you of Dr. Masur Emoto's work with water, where he wrote the words on the bottle of water and then looked at it under the microscope, and a collection of words would create a different experience within the water. Thank you and I love you created the perfect crystalline structure, and I hate you, or I don't, whatever it might have been, created the real amorphic, gray, unformed, there was no crystal, it just looked like it was a, a mess of energy in a way. And so many different ways to come at this all show us how powerful words are. And of course, we are water. So as we're saying the words, thank you, I love you, there is a new formation of crystalline structure within our own body. And words that are um, holy, meditation words, chanting, positivity, all these things create, think about that, you have the, posit you have the ability to create these positive structures within your own body because you are mostly water. So there's a lot to think about here. And you could really read all that you can get your hands on this month, this next 30 days from the end of December, and then sort of giving yourself that running momentum into the new year of positivity. You could read a lot of books on affirmations or look online or watch videos and affirmations, learn everything you can about the power of affirmations. It is so much more powerful to pull in that energy of the new year if you start right now because you're going to get a running start. You don't decide at 11.59 on New Year's Eve what you're going to do. You're starting right now, and that will build and pull in a wonderful, positive new energy for you in 2022. So in many different religions, right, they have the pray the rosary. So you're going to say that rosary prayer over and over and then move to a new bead. And uh, in the different Hindu and yogic traditions, they have the Rudraksha beads and they hold that and they say the chant and then they move another bead and then they move another bead and it goes around in a circle and then they just keep saying the chant. They get lost in the ecstasy of the positive chant, which is connecting them with the divine through the power of the word. Of course, they're singing as well. So if you'd like to sing your affirmations, they may even be more powerful because of the power of music and harmonies. That's another conversation. So repetition of an affirmation is powerful. It's, it's very similar and very aligned with the genius because one session is very powerful, but the daily sessions, one after the other after the other, builds a greater momentum and transformation. So they're a great combination and they're a natural combination to utilize together. So this month, we're going to build a momentum. And even with this group, you know, even being part of the group consciousness where we're working all together, 30 days of affirmations, um, we'll even create a Genius Biofeedback 30-day affirmation Facebook group where you can all talk about your experience and share what you're doing. You can even share what your affirmations are so other people can pick up on those affirmations. So it really is going to be about a daily commitment. And we do have a, a PDF handout so you can write down your affirmations, write down what you're experiencing as you're doing the affirmations each day. Now, what happens when you're saying an affirmation is multifactorial things are happening. It's so interesting. So that's why when you document your experience, we can share that experience as well. So when you say the affirmation, I'm attracting abundance and success, you are putting yourself into a state, an energetic state. You're aligning yourself with the frequency energy of abundance. So everyone who experiences a lot of financial abundance, when they're doing that, they are resonating at a certain frequency. So that frequency, when you say the affirmation, you yourself are matching or moving into that frequency. So you're saying it, you're becoming an antenna or an attractor, attractor 
for that experience, for the experience of abundance, for the experience of success. And even when you repeat it, you all of a sudden magically start to have new ideas about your success and how you could be more successful, how you could be more abundant. Have you ever noticed that? All of a sudden you're like, oh, you know, I, I never realized I could probably do this thing and this could be so much better and could be more successful. Or as you're saying the affirmation, you get a phone call, you get an email, you see a website that gives you a new idea about approaching this idea of success and abundance. Now, whatever you focus on will increase. And the mind tunes out the word no, the word not, anything that's negative, the, the subconscious mind cannot, because it's not our nature, cannot take it on. So I will not smoke anymore. The body hears, I will smoke. I will not overeat at the holidays. The body, the mind hears, I will overeat. There's no not in there. So we have to turn it around to, you know, I'm completely aligned with a fit and healthy body in every single way. Whatever it is that you can turn it around to the positive, because that is what your mind is listening to. One of the most amazing rules of the universe or laws of the universe is whatever you focus on increases. So if you're focusing on someone you're bitter with, someone you're having trouble forgiving, or if you're focused on, oh my gosh, there's a pandemic, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Then even your experience at that vibrational frequency increases. If you can turn it around and say, somehow something really great is going to come out of this difficult time. I am just feeling that this has helped me to focus on what is most important in my life. And therefore, I'm getting really clear about what I want to do. So as you focus on that, that experience increases. It's really important in medicine because in the classical uh, allopathic medical engagement and even in some of the naturopathic engagements, they we ask the patient, what is your chief complaint? What is your complaint? Tell us all about your symptoms and all about your illness. We can't wait to hear it. And what happens in that collective conversation as we drag out all of the uh, minute minutia details is we're just taking that vibration of having the Hashimoto's or having whatever the illness is, and we're just expanding that and really amping up that experience. Now, it's not that the doctor shouldn't understand what's going on with you, but quickly, right? A really powerful doctor would maybe prescribe affirmations to turn that around, something to think about. Let's keep going here. So I'm going to take some volunteers. So if you'd like to be part of this affirmational experiment, you'd like me to work on you this morning, then go ahead and put your date of birth down into the um, question area below. So what do you want to focus on today? That's what you want to ask yourself when you're getting ready to prepare an affirmation. When you work with someone with the genius, you know, you might be like, okay, well, what's your problem? You know, what thing are we working on? We're working on your fibromyalgia. We're working on your muscle pain. We're working on your anxiety. It's good to know that, but very quickly, it's good to turn it around. What is it that you'd like to experience from working with me? from working with the genius. So you turn it around and have them put it into a positive vision, a positive statement. So what positive change do you want from this experience? How can you put it into a positive statement? Now, as you go through your day, this can be a magical and transformational experience. Catch yourself every time you are thinking a negative thought and write it down and turn it into the positive. You will be amazed how much negative thoughts or even worry, anxiety, and it's okay. You don't have to beat yourself up or be upset with yourself, but now you have an opportunity to observe your thoughts. So every time, oh, I'm gonna be traveling, oh, I'm nervous, am I not gonna get the right plane seat? Am I gonna get there on time? Now you stop. I am gonna get the, the perfect plane uh, assignment, perfect plane seat assignment. 
I am going to arrive at the airport at the perfect time for me to have the most enjoyable flight that I've ever had. And so you can have fun with this in every single part of your life, but it is a practice. So it's the practice and the mind is sort of very similar to, think about your training a dog. Um, your mind is very, very interesting. It will get into a habit. It will become habitual. So your dog is used to the routine. You're going out. First, it doesn't know certain, your dog doesn't know certain things, but after a while, it's just, you know, okay, we go out in the morning, do our business, and then we have this. And your mind goes through routine and habit. And so as you bring it and guide it into the habit of having positive thoughts, it will begin to shift and change to more naturally go into the positive thought. So you in 30 days could completely transform your mind and therefore transform your life. So it is really, really exciting the potential of what you can do. And then we're gonna bring in the genius as a partner and it becomes even more powerful. So I hope you're excited about this. I know that I am very excited to see what you come up with. Now let's talk about coming up with a, a very effective affirmation. How do you craft that affirmation? Now, nothing has to be perfect. So you could just say any positive statement, but I thought it would be fun to really talk about the ones that are the most effective and how you can start, sort of stair step. We did a little bit of this last week um, when we were working live with one of the participants and we did a little bit of a stair step. First we did this, then we sort of massage that, mas that affirmation into something even higher and even more specific and even more what she was really wanting, what she was really wanting to go for. So state the achievement or what you want in the present tense as if it has already happened. Now, many of you know this, right, from affirmations. Sometimes you can't do that perfectly, just do your best. So it's as you're, you're thanking the universe for the experience of it now, that puts you into that vibrational state instantly because you could really, really want something and it could seem really far off or really impossible. But in your mind, you can instantly enjoy the feeling, which is really strange, of what you would feel if you would, ha if you would have it right now. If you're looking for the ultimate partner, the ultimate happy relationship, try to get into your body. What would it feel like at that moment? when you have that perfect relationship? What are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling so much joy, I'm feeling so much love, I'm feeling so much satisfaction. The interesting thing is that that is something that you can, you can kind of cheat and go right to the finish line. You can experience it in this now moment. Now, is it wonderful to have a, a partner, somebody you can talk to and so forth? Yes, but the actual experience is a frequency, a vibration that you can step into at any moment. And stepping into or in a body experience, experiencing that vibration brings the physical experience of it even faster. So the three-dimensional manifestation brings it to you even faster. And it's fun. It's like you want some ice cream. Now we know having ice cream is very joyful and a wonderful experience. But you can even, what is the feeling that you get in your body when you have ice cream? It's like, oh my my tummy feels happy, I feel joyful, I feel satisfied. Well, you can actually move into that experience at any moment. So something for you to think about. So an example would be, I am so filled with joy at the three new clients that have joined my practice this, new, this week. So if your goal is to have three new people join your Genius Biofeedback practice, I am so filled with joy at the three new clients that have joined my practice this week, or I am so grateful for the three people who have put their faith in me with my genius practice this week. So you're going to begin, right, with the end in mind. And think about it, even from if you were communicating that to another person, you're communicating it to the universe. It's so specific. And you can even then you could what I call sort of amp it up. If you amped it up, you could say, I'm effort, I'm so filled with joy that I'm of the effortless manifestation of the three clients who are so committed to changing their life that it is a pleasure to work with them. So you can sort of embellish and amp it up and make it into the story that you really want to experience. Do you make that experience happen a hundred percent of the time? 
you know, maybe not, this is a perfect science, but you're sure gonna get a lot closer when you're more specific. It's like telling your specific desire to a person. You're telling your specific desire to the universe and the universe is better able to deliver the goodies, the presents, the gifts that you want, the more specific you are. So work to amp up that affirmation. Can I have stated in more positive terms? Is there something else here that I'm trying to achieve? You know, what is my real goal here? Is it just to be free from pain or is it to experience a joyful feeling in my body so that I can uh, relish in the absolute pleasure of being alive? So you can amp it up. You sort of go in stair steps. You sort of peel an onion on the actual thing that you want to experience. You know, when we're in pain, it is just getting out of pain that seems important, but then we can bring it up to new levels of, well, what does it feel like to be out of pain? Oh, I can really enjoy life. I can look at what's around me. I can you know, smell all the flowers and have a joyful day, that type of thing. So you can state that that's what you're going to experience. Could I add more positive emphasis or even go for it at a greater level? So you can really decorate, embellish your affirmations with wonderful things. So here are some examples. Patricia Kobla, uh, Rob Co sorry, it's Kota Robles. She has a wonderful um, series of affirmations, um, St. Germain. She has different affirmations you can look up on YouTube. And she has this one thing that she says that really struck me. She says, um, you move into the most joy that cosmic law will allow for you at this time, something like that. So you could craft your affirmation in this way. I am so grateful to be manifesting the greatest financial abundance that cosmic law will be will allow for me at this time. And you could take off the limitations too. Maybe cosmic law doesn't limit your abundance. So whatever it is that you feel that you want to say, but you want to sort of make it even bigger. And then in the hemi-sync, in the um, binaural beat, a tradition of working on different affirmations, the uh, writers at, he at hemi-sync, if you've ever listened to any of their CDs or guided meditations, they say, I now release all patterns, conscious and subconscious, that are preventing me from whatever it might be, quitting smoking or drinking less or releasing weight or achieving abundance. And so, you can state all of these things. I now release, I now cancel all of those programs that are preventing me from experiencing the greatest joy that I want to have in my life. Or I now release all the patterns, conscious and subconscious. That's really important because you're speaking right to that sort of little part of your mind that can create self-sabotage. I now release all the patterns, conscious and subconscious, that are preventing me from achieving the greatest joy in my life. So these are techniques, okay? Remember that there are different areas of interest. So maybe you want to have 30 days of affirmations and you wanna divide it into different categories. Maybe you wanna have one in each category. Maybe you want to focus on just one category. So different categories that come to mind are health and wellness, vitality, fitness, weight loss, abundance, money, success, career, and love and relationships, relationships with your, your spouse, your children, your parents. So what is it that you're going to want to work on? You might want to divide up or look at affirmations or working on affirmations in these different areas. So we're going to talk about creating a library. Make sure to volunteer down below with your date of birth so that we can work with you and work on some affirmations for you. And this is gonna be very similar to how we worked last week. We'll work with the affirmations library and we'll work with, um, we will work with the neuro remedy as well. Okay, so you can use the handout that I've created to document your affirmations every day. Now you don't need to. The only reason I thought it'd be nice to have um, a physical record is so that you can sort of look at your progress, you can look at your past affirmations and how they've changed and evolved. And writing is another way that we, in, we entrain information. So there are powerful ways to experience affirmations. One of the most powerful ways is speaking the affirmation. So all your family 
won't think you're crazy, get up and every day you just walk around your house, keep speaking your affirmations. If you want an even a level higher than that, then sing your affirmations. Your family will really think that you've <laughs> gone off the, the deep end, but maybe the happy deep end, right? The You've gone into the most amazing part of your life. So singing them, speaking them, that's more powerful than actually just reading them. And also writing them. So writing is very powerful in connecting you to the experience and people sometimes they learn things better through writing them and there's something that you're taking into your consciousness. It's becoming a lost art since we're doing so many things through the keyboard and also a way to talk to both sides of your brain is if you ever want to do your non-dominant hand and try to write an affirmation with your non-dominant hand that's helping to work the left and right brain. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. So we can, first thing is we could create just 30 days of affirmations. You could just have one for every day for 30 days, but affirmations tend to build this amazing momentum. So if you have one, it's like that potato chip, you may notice so much joy and so much excitement that you're gonna get other ideas for affirmations in different areas. So you could create different libraries, like 30 days of affirmations or love affirmations or fitness affirmations, weight loss affirmations. So you may wanna create different libraries, okay? But add, try to add one affirmation of some kind every single day. You can also place your um, affirmations, we'll talk about this, into your quick zap. And then once you have the affirmation, the actual logistics to do this is to run the affirmation with other sort of potentiators up in the quick zap every day. So a little bit different from your regular session, we're just gonna focus on one thought, one affirmation, and then add in some things into the quick zap like Solfeggio 528 Hertz, or the, the flower essences that are coming up for you, or, and or 639 Hertz, which is all about communication, right? Cell to cell, person to person, and we're communicating to the universe with these affirmations. Then after that, if you want, you could also create a neuro remedy. A neuro remedy listens to your speaking voice and turns it into a whole body signal that really interprets the energy of your voice and gives it more boost, more energy, more um, a total energetic frequency experience. It's very magical and very, very interesting part of the genius. So that's another, another thing to talk about. So um, let's from there, let's go right to the genius and let's talk with someone who would like to transform their life. So be thinking, what is it that you're wanting to change as we get this set up? And we'll go ahead and we'll find somebody in today's class and we'll continue to talk about the affirmations, put them out in the newsletter, um, mention them or continue to focus on them next week. So we'll keep up this momentum for the next 30 days. It's a great opportunity for you to share with your clients, post on your Instagram, and tell them what you're doing with the genius with the 30 days. People love these affirmations. Whoops, that was the wrong icon. I'm just trying to bring up the genius here. So um, any questions about it? We can answer your questions about the process, and we'll go through another example of the process, but hopefully it's pretty straightforward and you really have some fun with this. Really, really enjoy it see if we can get this set up. And um, then we'll take any of your questions that you have, if there's anything about the genius. In the new year, there are gonna be some big changes to the genius. So um, it's going to be very, very positive. There, I think we're going to be bringing the libraries to the front page where you can more easily work with libraries, but there's gonna be some very, very positive updates beginning at the new year. And as we know more of those updates, we will share them with you. Okay. So volunteers and questions, anybody who's volunteered for positive transformation today, let's see what we've got here, especially somebody who's never had a, um, a scan before. So Christy M, we're gonna go with you in just a moment. Uh, do me a favor and make sure that you can find your microphone. And we're not gonna put your full name up here, we're just gonna, so we're not giving away any too um, critical information. We're going to not put your last name, we're just gonna put your last initial. 
And the Genius is pretty forgiving. It'll work really well with the voice, even if it doesn't have the exact last name. So don't get too hung up on some of the details like that when you're working with people. It actually will all work out just fine. Okay, we've got that. And now let's go ahead and see if we can speak with Christy. Hopefully we can find her and we'll take your questions about this process. So what questions do you have or what questions do you have about the genius? This is a great time to ask them. Okay, so Christy, how are you today? Great, thank you. Good, okay, well you cut out just a little bit. So do you have your genius now or are you on the trial? I have my genius now. Okay, congratulations to you. Thank you. Now, have you ever worked with affirmations before? I have not. Really? Okay, are you thinking you'll do the 30-day challenge? Yes, that's that's my plan. Oh, that's all that's exciting. Okay, so uh, what would you like to see transform in your life? Okay, so one of the biggest things that I have kind of struggled with over the years is that I tend to expect uh, I don't want to say bad things, but I suffer from a lot of uh, fear and anxiety, and I want to start drawing a more, a more positive experience. I want to start expecting good things to happen versus negative. I'm always kind of, I've always been a waiting for the other shoe to drop kind of person, and I don't want to be that way anymore. And you know, that is a very learned experience that we often learned from our, our family. It sort of was in the ancestral pattern. And the good thing to know is that even though that might be the case, that this very process of working with the affirmations and the genius day after day after day can begin to unwind all of that and begin to make a new pattern for yourself. So I'm really excited about this for you. Thank you, I'm excited as well. Okay, so first let's go ahead and um, record your voice. So start thinking, we're just gonna record your voice for now, but even as we're doing that, start thinking about specific positive experiences that you would like to have. In the meantime, let's go ahead and record your voice and I'll count you down. I'll start recording your voice in three, two, one, I'm recording. My name is Christy Millwood, A-I-A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U. Okay, awesome, yeah, what we usually do is we usually repeat that over and over again, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U. Now, another way that you can do this, just let this scan for a second, you literally, instead of saying the vowels, you actually could just say your affirmation over and over again. So when you're doing this during the 30 days, you simply could just do your um, affirmation. So what okay. are some of the um, things, specific areas where that worry, that anxiety sets in and you'd like to experience something different? So it's always centered around um, finances and stability. I have a very big issue with not feeling secure or stable, whether that be with finances or health. It's kind of, it's really both. Gotcha. Okay, so let's take the first one you mentioned, so finances. So what words could you put towards the experience of what you want to have with your finances. Let's um, start there. And we will, so we, we, you think about that. We've got your aura here and your aura looks very, very good. There's a little bit of overall cloudiness in there and we hope to see that clear up where we're gonna see some really brighter colors. We don't see any big blockages in the aura. Um, it overall looks really good, nice green heart center, nice purple, opening of the intuition, third eye, and so forth. So we're going to now go to our library section so we can talk a little bit more about how you could set this up yourself. You could set up a library that just says 
30 days of affirmations. If you want to, you could set up 30 days of affirmations, financial, or even just financial abundance affirmations. So it's completely up to you how you want to work. When you go back to the library, remember you can test everything in the library down the road to see which one is speaking to you the most. And you could try it in a number of different ways. It's never additional cost to create more libraries. So we got 30 days of affirmations that we did last week. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We could, for example, go to libraries and then we could create this. And then we could create a new library. Um, let's go 30 days of affirmations, abundance. Or you could just create one that says um, abundance affirmation. So completely up to you. This one will be easier to find. So let's do that one. So now back to you, Christy. So what can what statement can you say about finances that could describe the state that you ultimately want to experience? And I'll work with you on this. Okay, great. Um, I have all the financial stability that I need every day. That's great. So let's start with that one. Okay, so, and we would just basically write the statement in. Okay, so we're just going to then tap archetype encoding. Okay, and um, so we're just going to go ahead and tap the archetype encoding, and we have this right there. And um, so what I want you to do is just focus for a moment on that experience. So I, I have all the financial stability that I need every day. And this will usually lead to a new experience. So I want you to close your eyes and sort of focus on the experience and um, see what is the next affirmation that comes to mind. And we're just seeing a, a minute here. I'm gonna be right back. So everybody sort of close your eyes and think what's the next affirmation that comes to mind. I have one new client each week. Okay. Say that one more time. Say that one more time. Oh, we lost, we lost Christy. Can you hear me? Yes. So what was the next okay. one that came to mind? I have one new client each week. Okay. And what's the feeling that goes with having the new client? A little scared. Okay. What's the feeling <laughs> that you want to have when you have a new client? I'm excited to have one new client each week. Okay. I, I, I am filled with excitement at the, the experience of a new client every week. That's awesome. Okay. I 
filled with excitement at the experience of having one new client join my practice each week. Okay, and is there another thing, like what are the things that happen when you have stability and financial abundance? What do you get to experience in your body? Peace. Okay. Anything else? Freedom. Freedom, okay. Okay, so put the piece, take the piece part and put it into a positive statement that has to do with finances and stability. I am filled with peace knowing that my finances are abundant. That's a good one. Okay, and then we tap archetype and coding, and then we get our affirmation. And then one more that has to do with freedom. Anything that you can I think of? I am free to. Go ahead. Um, I am. I am free to flow through life. Okay. Can you say a little bit more about that? Just explaining where that comes from, or just in kind of expanding on the statement. I am free to flow through life. Um, yeah, just for you, I mean, what does that mean for you? I am free to flow through life. Like, what is that sort of, what specific meaning does that have for you? I, when I see... Getting, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Well, I think you were already getting it, but it's like, I'm free to enjoy my time. I'm free to go on vacation. I'm free to be I'm free to not have to worry so what is a little bit more about I'm free to flow through life if you give it some more specifics it's like you're again it's a little bit like you're writing a letter to the universe or exactly what you want thinking about the the of this time of year thinking the letter to Santa you know exactly what you want to experience you know so you can add some things on there I'm free to flow through life so I can enjoy all of the gifts life has to give to me, you know, things like that. Okay. Okay. So I am free to flow through life without worry in order to be present with my loved ones. You know, it's good. And I would even, we're not, you can write that one down. I would even add, like, it's sort of like, that's how it's stair steps. It's like, first it's without worry. You can write that one down and work on it. And it's, but it's very like, so you can be present with your loved ones. If you can amp it up a little bit more so that I can have joyful moments so that I can have, you know, mm -hmm. it, like, you know, okay. life, you know, life thing, you know, experiences that I'll remember for the rest of my life or something like that. You want to sort of keep amping it up because we're so happy first just to be free of the worry and anxiety you know, or just be in present moment and that'll be a joy. And then just see if you can sort of amp it up, like give it something else, like what, you know, the whole goal of life is to be happy. And with that in mind, what is that happy experience? You know, I'm so, is it, do you like the mountains, the beach? Um, what kind of nature do you love to go on vacation in? Um, I love the beach. I love to sit in front of the ocean, but I also like to go on hikes. I like to just be in nature, wherever that is for me. Okay. Like I'm so, I'm free to th flow through life through um, incredibly joyful experience with my loved ones where we sit and then watch the sunset at the ocean. So that's a very visceral experience. It just, it has a lot more um, excitement behind it. It has a lot more energy behind it. And so it can get you that kind of um, 
specificity and joy and sort of amping up get you to your goal faster. That's why I'm encouraging you to do okay. it. Okay. Okay. So once we have our affirmations, then you may, oh, none of this got saved. Oh my goodness. This is, uh, oh, how did that happen? That can't, yeah, I was going to say that can't possibly be, yeah, they, they did get saved. So just a few things about the genius that you need to know is when you've created a new library, you do need to add it to all of your clients. So if you have all of your libraries assigned to your clients, which I do recommend, it's just easier to work through the search function than trying to figure out which libraries you want to add for each client. So once you've done that, you can actually come back and you can retest it. So I guess this will retest just the affirmation ones. I didn't, I've never noticed that this was possible. So it's testing and it's um, tested for the 30 days of affirmations. Oh, we didn't have the other one added. So hang on, let me get my logistics here. It's actually scanning all of them, but it's, it's it, I think it's scanned the new one. We just don't see it in the search. So let's try that again. And my goodness, giving me t lots of trouble here. Um, see if we can just see all of the libraries. Let's try this. Let's try. Okay, so this is another thing that would be good to let the, the, yeah, I'm going to have to skip through this just to, for our purposes of our scan here, I think. Um, let the developer know that that library function, this, the search function is not allowing a new search. So somebody please uh, send a message rw at insighthealthapps.com. When you do a search function with the library, it's not, um, going back, so that's rather troubling. So we're just gonna go back. I, not, I'm not gonna do a new voice here, so this is just for um, teaching purposes, just because we're a little tight for time. So what happened in the glitch there is that the, um, <clears throat> the libraries did not allow for a new search, so that certainly looks like a bug to me. Okay, so we're going to just talk our way through this. Then we're going to look at the neuro remedy and bring in the neuro remedy and take a look at that as well. Okay, how do you correct the wording to an existing affirmation? It's better to just delete the whole affirmation and to rewrite the affirmation, but you could just correct the spell the more the, the better way to do it for the frequency perspective of it is the first way that I described. Okay, so let's go to 30 days of affirmations on abundance. And normally I would just test to see which one is the one that's resonating the most. So the two that are resonating the most, or maybe three, I am filled with, I'm filled with excitement at the experience of having one new client join my practice each week. And I'm filled with peace knowing that my finances are abundance and I have all the financial stability I need every day. So all of them are kind of resonating for her. And then you could put this one up here. I am at peace knowing that my finances are abundance. So peace was something that was really important to her. And then we will add in other things into the Quicks app like transformation and miracles. That just makes so much sense. So we're going to put transformation and miracles into the Quicks app. And of course, 639, that's really about communicating. We're communicating what we want to the universe. We want communication to other people, right? We want all of that to be very positive. Then we could also incorporate the emotions. So the emotions that come through, um, which is going to be in the Bach flower essences. So um, honeysuckle is sort of, interestingly enough, is like nostalgia about the past. Um, and then we've got impatience, being impatient about the ability, you know, really wanting to change. So we can put all of those up here. And this is interesting to Star Bethlehem being about past shock, past trauma, wanting to clear that out so that we can be in that more positive frame of mind. So with the 30 days of affirmations, we would run this for 
15 minutes or five minutes or some amount of time every single day. So we may not do a regular genius session. We may do one. We may do the affirmations in the morning and then a regular genius session at night. So something, you know, something related to that, something around it. Okay. So, and it could be anything that you want to do. It could be any way that you want to do it. Can you direct me to giving the positive word for a negative word or condition? For example, what, re, what, words, what words redirect anxiety, aches, pains, and anger? That's a very, very good question, Pamela. The way that you want to do that is get a piece of paper, and when you write down anxiety, if you didn't have anxiety, what would you experience? I would experience peace, calm, relaxation, then those become your power words to work into the affirmation. If you don't know what they are, then go to Google and say, what is the opposite of anxiety? Just ask Google, okay, aches, I have aches and pains. What is the experience like when I don't have aches and pains in my body? Oh, I feel calm, I feel ease, I feel a joy, I feel an enthusiasm about life. So you don't have to necessarily ask Google if you can just come up with in your own body, in your own experience, what would my life be like if I didn't have anxiety? What would life be like? What would my daily experience be if I didn't ha wasn't haunted sort of by this anger, by this angry feeling? And hopefully that will start, start to spark some ideas for you. Writing in pencil is good because the graphite holds the frequencies. Mardell, that's very interesting. So I want to repeat that. She says writing in pencil is powerful because the graphite holds the frequency. So your whole piece of paper will become imbued with the frequencies. That's very interesting. If you have a long affirmation, it's better to have, is it better to have one long affirmation or better to break it up into multiple affirmations. That's certainly something that you can think about and think about what can you remember? You know, it's sort of like your consciousness, right? It may be better to break it into small pieces so you can sort of focus on that one part. But if the whole experience is necessary to have that whole affirmation, then you may do the whole affirmation. It's certainly up to you. How do you delete an affirmation? Uh, you simply, when you have any frequencies within a library, you simply swipe to the left and tap delete. Okay, how do you correct the wording in an existing affirmation library? Like, Marie, if that is a library that I say I was the author on, then you can send a message to me and say there's a spelling error here, and we will definitely correct it in some way, either by deleting, creating a new one, correcting the spelling, something to that effect. So if, or if it's another author, then get in touch with them and let them know. You won't be able to modify it yourself. So let us know, we're very receptive to that. There's no, there hasn't been traditionally a spell check in the library creation function. So something we would definitely be interested in. I am happy and calm, enjoying all the moments in my life. That's a great one. Run along with the affirmations for Christy, the Courageous Transitions Library for her mindset. Okay, thank you, Daniel. That's a great idea. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm excited to use affirmations with the genius. I've asked my clients to give me their affirmations and created special libraries for them. Very, very good, Jing. I like it. Um, Yes, and you can imprint your life. So say you get your affirmation, you're about to eat your breakfast. Imprint the affirmation into your breakfast with your remedy plate or into your water that you're drinking for the day or into a gemstone that you might be um, carrying with you or your bracelet with gemstones or your silicon band with the gemstones, whatever it might be. You could also just have great fun. Maybe you're doing a juice cleanse. It, take the remedy plate and imprint your frequencies into the juices, into your morning smoothie. So whatever that is, you can feel free to be really creative and start to utilize this in a number of different ways. We're gonna do the neuro remedy in just a moment, 
So um, Christy, don't go anywhere. Hopefully you're still with us here. Um, yeah, we're gonna bring you back in just a moment. Let's go ahead and check the aura since we've been running the affirmation. Let's see if there's any change. Oh, we don't have the we don't have the before aura because we had to pop out of here. So make sure that the developer knows that there is an issue with the library search function. And if lots of people send him that issue, he'll know it's real. And it's so it's happening where you go and you do one search and then you go back and it will not allow a second search. And this does happen from time to time, so definitely let him know that. We are having a lot of upgrades to the Genius that'll be happening in 2022, and I think they're gonna be great upgrades. They're gonna make everything a little bit better. And let's go ahead and look at this. So beautiful, beautiful Aura, even though we don't have the tech, technically the before Aura, it looks absolutely amazing since we first checked. Let's just look at the comparison up in photos here. So here was the first one. And it, like I said, it was just a little bit, maybe, you know, sort of a little bit cloudy. And then we bring in this one and it's looking brighter, right? More bright colors, more vibrancy. And so Chrissy, we're gonna bring you back on in a moment. Think of the affirmation that we did, one of the affirmations that's the most powerful for you. And it doesn't have to be that exact affirmation, but we want something that you can speak into your neuro remedy. We're gonna um, just delete these for now. And the way that we do a neuro remedy is we tap a button that's hard to see, which is this plus button at the top right of the screen. And then we name the neuro remedy. So we're gonna need Christy to come back on for that one. So um, if you can open up your microphone again, Christy, and what is, how you doing? What is the most powerful wording? What would you like to say in this affirmation? We're gonna have you speak it several times as well. Okay. I'm going to do the, I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. Great, let me write that down. Okay, so we got that one, and now we're going to record it. So try to remember it, and we're going to say it over and over again, uh, probably for about 15 seconds. So we'll have you say it in just a moment. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll count you down. I'll start recording in three, two, one. I'm recording. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am filled with peace knowing my finances are abundant. I am okay, filled with peace. Said, fantastic, well you're doing great. As you said it several times again, did anything change in your body, in your experience as you said it several times? Yes, I got a big smile on my face. That's exciting. That's very exciting. Okay, that's wonderful to hear that. Um, that's absolutely fantastic. It would be so interesting to look at brain waves or something where when you say that affirmation over and over, I almost hear or, or feel that you're moving into the actual experience that you're repeating. Is that something that you were feeling as well? Yes, I, and I even took note that I was starting to smile and I also started to notice that I was emphasizing R abundant. When I could hear myself repeating it, it got more emphatic with the R. That's wonderful. And I mean, I challenge everybody to think beyond, you know, their their limitations. Could you say it one time? Could you say it two times? Could you say it five times? Could you say it a hundred times a day? Could you say it a thousand times a day? You know, how many times could you repeat it or read it? You know, it'd be really interesting to challenge yourself. And so then the next step would be to simply play this neuro remedy and it can be exported to the capsule as well. So if you're a busy practitioner, you could actually export this to the, your own quanta capsule and then play it throughout the day. 
And so it should actually be playing a sound here. Um, it should be playing a tone. So I'm not, I'm not sure, but it is definitely giving you the um, frequencies and the vibrations of doing this. So Christy, do you have any final thoughts for us about, are you excited? What are you looking forward to? What are your thoughts about the whole process? I am excited. I'll be honest with you. When I've uh, talked about affirmations before, it's always been very generic. And so when you started talking about expanding them and making them more specific and putting in the feeling that you want to experience, that kind of has changed the game for me when I think about affirmations. And oh, so I'm cool. looking forward to doing that. Very good. Well, we're going to check in with you if you're on the class over the next couple of weeks and check in and see how you're doing, okay? Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christy. It'll be fun to hear if something, you know, lands in her lap or she doesn't just get one client, she gets two clients or she gets 10 new clients or people are breaking down the door wanting to be on her waiting list. You just never know. So it'll be very, very exciting. So we'll take, we're a little bit over time. We'll take any final questions about this. And we do have the guide where you can, sorry, this isn't what we wanted to do here is, um, well, let us do an aura after doing another neuro remedy interesting to see this um, okay so we do have the download if we can find the download here we do have the download that you can get for yourself download it we'll put it in the YouTube description as well and you can track your progress um, Wow, it's really interesting it actually reverted back to the original um, let's see if let's see the progression here it almost reverted back to the original one which is kind of fascinating and so that may suggest that we're going through sort of a labyrinth where we're walking out into the experience and then maybe we're sort of circling back a little bit. So let's look at the first, let's look at the second, and let's look at the third. It's interesting, it's almost like this third picked up where she was, but you can definitely see that this sort of cloudy green gray has moved out of the aura and that this beautiful purple um, is starting to emerge in a very bright way. So that's really kind of interesting. I've never seen that before because we had to go into a new session. Um, very, very interesting about the consistency of the genius. So um, then coming back into here, you can take this download. And I would love to, if you come back next week, ask you, you know, what are you noticing? What are you experiencing? What did you discover? And so come back next week and we'll get a Facebook group going and let's hear how you're doing and even um people can share their affirmations their ideas what is happening i think this will be really fun to if you have any holiday blues it'll get rid of those and it'll really get you excited about looking forward to 2022 so um, with that we're going to wrap up for the day and it looks like people are very very excited to try this and um jing says I imprint my money magnetizing frequencies into my coffee every day. I absolutely love that. I was to correct my affirmation, but I found out how to modify the affirmation because I want to add some other numbers. That's great. Sent an email to Ryan. Thank you so much. And where's the share button to send the neuro remedy to the capsule? Let's look at that before we uh, wind things up for today. It's actually just down at the bottom here. There's a bar that says export the ins to the Insight Quanta Cap. That is what it should say up in where the share button is in Progressive Insights. That's a whole other conversation. So um, really excited to see what you do, how your affirmations shape up. So I'll look for you in that Facebook group and we'll get all the fun going. Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any questions, you can send them to me, ariel at geniusbiofeedback.com. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.